Hello, this is Sasha from NetbookNews.com. We are over here at the MacPower uh, headquarters in Taipei. And uh, what we have over here is a USB 3.0 setup. So we have a mini, oh, not a mini PCI, but a PCI Express card. The controller is in this little system over here. It's running on a gigabyte mainboard right now. I can't even tell you what kind of mainboard it is. I'm sorry, I'm not an expert at this. Um, but I can tell you definitely something about uh, SSD or solid state drives and how the speed is and how the benchmark numbers are when we are connecting it over USB 3.0 and um, we were just running the Crystal Disk Mark 2.2 and this is a Runcore Pro 4 it's a 128 gigabyte SSD and when we're taking a look at the numbers, sequential read speed 198 megabytes, write speed 148 to 512K is 144 and 139, and the 4K 22 and the write speed 18.44. So, I mean, if you're comparing this to an ordinary USB 2.0 bus, which is capable of running a maximum bandwidth, I think it's, uh, was it 400 Mbit or 480 Mbit? 480, I think. I'm always mixing it up with FireWire, mm -hmm. so, you know, sorry for the Mac guys. But, you know, you just can't reach these speeds with the USB 2.0. So, you know, I think we can kind of expect these devices on the market in the next 12 to 18 months, so more and more manufacturers are picking up this technology of USB 3.0. And I would like to show you another interesting figure, that's uh, Kingston X25M, which is based on the Intel X25M. We have the 80 gigabyte version over here, and I think we should also do a little benchmark on this one. As you can see, Crystal Disk Mark 2.2 is running right now on the Kingston X25M. And uh, we get quite some different numbers compared to the one core one. Um, the read speed is a little bit higher uh, on the sequential one, um, while the write speed is uh, pretty low. It's only 50% uh, of the write speed uh, of the one core version. And but you can definitely see a huge difference uh, when it comes to. Um, the 4K write speed. I know that the Intel should be pretty fast in this. But you know, just to let you know, Intel just released um, two days ago. There's a firmware upgrade, and they have a little SSD tool with some uh, little tools, and um, you can download it over at the Intel website. And this firmware upgrade should give you, you know, a performance boost on the write speed of up to 40%. But i also let you know they, they have right now some problems with Windows 7. So you might have, uh, you might run into some problems with it. You know, check it out on the Intel website. They should have a revision of this version very, very soon. So get your, get your newest firmware over there. So let's take a look at the numbers again. Um, we are close to finish the benchmark. Uh, the random write is something that is really impressive on the Intel. There you go. It's 25 MB compared to the one core. We've been at 18 or 19 MB a second. So, oh, there you go. It's twice as fast as, nearly twice as fast as the one core SSD. So, especially, you know, when you're installing a system, uh, an operating system like Windows 7, I did, I did benchmarks on my Samsung NC10. I installed with a Kingston X25M. I installed Windows 7 in just 15 minutes from scratch. Right, until I got to the internet for the first time. So it's really, really fast on this 4K wide speed, especially this uh, crucial benchmark when it comes to the performance of your system because it's all about little file that files that the system has to cache. And that's where the X25M is really, really good. So yeah, fantastic technology. USB 3.0 is definitely the future for external hard disks, for external SSDs. And as I said, I would expect it really to get into the market in the next 12 or 18 months and we would see more and more OEMs and ODMs to pick up this technology and you might even see it in mobile computers like netbooks in the, you know, in the next two generations.